What's going on guys, it's Caleb and today I have this Mazda MX-5 Miata that is in for a detail. So not only is this car like the very first customer based detail in the new shop, but it also is a pretty cool car. So if you guys don't know, upstairs from where we are, believe it or not, we're in like an underground kind of basement garage, need for speed style thing. <laughs> There's an automotive shop and we know the people, we're good friends with them. And I got a call saying, hey man, I got this Miata, we just put a turbo kit in, can you go ahead and clean this thing up? And of course I said, yeah, you know, go ahead and drive this thing down to the driveway below i'll go ahead and get started on this thing and from there i just started going and going with getting everything set up now one thing i will say is this is not my usual detailing film camera per se this is my dslr camera i do little cinematics with as well as photos and i haven't really used this camera for the situations of a detail so a lot of the settings are on automatic because i don't have the time to go through and do manual switches like i would if it were some sort of cinematic production with cars like i do so some sections of this may look a little grainy some sections of this look man, just may look look a little like off I guess you could say frame rate it's also kind of weird to do some color correction clips in this I mean it's just I just kind of winged it in terms of the film aspect of it but overall it was a pretty fun detail and we're getting started on these wheels using some PNS brake buster but before we go any further if you like detailing content go ahead and take a moment to help me out by pressing subscribe and if you want to stick around with the channel and see the journey throughout the new shop as well as other details I have planned out go ahead and press subscribe and if you ring that bell you know every single time I upload a video it's really early morning right now as I'm recording I don't know if you can hear my voice but we're gonna go ahead and continue on with this video with the wheels. So the first thing we definitely want to do with this car is go ahead and foam everything down and then go through the little crevices with a brush and then do our pre-rinse just because there's just sitting dirt on top of the paint and I want something lubricating the surface whenever I go through the pressure washer but you know while it's foamed down you might as well go through with a brush and make sure everything's nice and clean.
So the one thing we're gonna do now that we have this thing completely dried off is go around it one more time with bead maker just to make sure that has every ounce of possible gloss so that way the owner's happy with it. And then we can go ahead and move on to the interior and I will tell you guys, it just got done having a turbo kit installed which means there's gonna be a lot of dirt and whatnot inside and out. And what we really wanna do is make this thing nice and clean so when the owner comes to pick up the car tomorrow, it looks phenomenal. So and, I mean, it probably sounds great, it probably runs great and we want this thing to really look as good as it sounds. And it's like a salmon pink. I mean, that's pretty cool. You don't really see that quite often. I don't like the camber, but you know, you, you can fix that stuff. So one thing can be said about this car is that the wheels are definitely somewhat of a centerpiece for the look of it. And with having a chrome rim and bead maker being able to go on anything, I went ahead and took this bead maker and wiped it along the rim where all the chrome is just to add that little extra bit of gloss for the look. And then from there, we're moving into the interior. Now, some parts of the interior is torn apart, mostly for the sake of pulling out the center console for them to work on it in the shop upstairs and stuff like that. But the whole plan here is to make sure that everything is wiped down, scrubbed and clean, and then go through with my vacuum, make sure everything's vacuumed out, and then follow up with some interior dressing for UV protection and better looks.
one thing I will say is that since the center console is out of the car, we're gonna take nothing but complete advantage of this situation. This car is dirty, we can obviously see that, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of these center console bolts out and just spray this thing down, brush it down, and then I'm gonna put some Meguiar's hyper dressing on it so that way the owner, as well as the automotive shop who's having me detail it, is happy with the way it looks. So to wrap everything up, we're going to go ahead and vacuum everything out with my shop vac and go through the entire interior with some Meguiar's hyper dressing just to give it that final nice touch. As you can see from the interior film perspective, it's just really grainy a lot. It's just low light. It, this camera does not work too well in low light. It's really amazing in sunset and daylight and all that, but low light, no, it's just grainy. But overall, I was able to get some footage and I can't tell you what the original camera that I used for detailing, the footage looks great in the shop and I can't wait to show you guys the next video because not only just is the car cool but the footage turned out awesome That right there pretty much wraps up this detail. This Miata was pretty dirty mostly because of all the hands that were on it while it was going through the process of getting the turbo installed and everything else that goes along with that. So of course it needed some extra stuff. Like if you watch while I was doing the interior, I went over certain things twice. I really scrubbed hard, made sure everything was good. I took a lot of time on those leather seats to make sure they turned out really nice as well. I don't really know how I feel about the color. It kind of grew on me as I continued on through the detail as well as the wheels and whatnot. But you know, I tried my best just to make it really nice because I know when the owner picks up this car he's going to be very excited to have that turbo kit in there as well as it being clean it's just going to be that extra icing on the cape that's really going to bring everything together so now that we've reached the end though before we move into the ending cinematic footage if you like the video go ahead and please help me out by leaving a like if you like detailing content and want to follow me through the journey of this new shop that i have and for those of you who don't know this is the first detail since being in that shop with all of my friends go ahead and press subscribe and if you ring that bell right next to the subscribe button you will know every single time i upload a video thank you all once again for spending time with me again another week another detail another good time and i will see you all next week with a another detail and probably an extra video of shop progress so i will see you guys then